the local food I learned it from my mom. I did not learn it from school. school I, I learned it, it from my mom. Yeah. So you know how the African women they used to cook yeah. our local dishes. When it is cook, it's cook. <laughs> <laughs>
in the locally mm -hmm. our food our local food mm -hmm. or the food that we eat in africa mm -hmm. you always doesn't have a, 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 a you can't say we have a season for that because at any point of time you can get it mm -hmm. you understand mm -hmm. you can get it because of our weather or our seasons we can they cultivate different type of food and at the end of the year mm -hmm. you get every uh, visit vegetables or whatever you want you can get it available at any time now in ghana mm. everybody like uh, fast food mm. everybody can come because working eight hours or nine hours 12 hours before you will come out yeah, you are you are very tired yeah, you can't yeah. go to the kitchen and yeah, cook so you yeah. have to go around and yeah. go and find something yeah. there <coughs> the nearest restaurant yeah. or the uh, 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 fast food joint and take and yeah. go home and yeah. eat and relax and sleep but mm -hmm. the one that they export mm -hmm. to us in africa here mm -hmm. that one it's mm -hmm. not all the time we used to get it yeah so that's the challenge that's yeah. the challenge yeah. that yeah. is food business in ghana like a really really lucrative business or the challenges or the difficulties in it is too much for the gains like for the proceeds uh, the, 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 uh, the business in ghana mm -hmm. uh, is is very very uh, good mm -hmm. depending of the depending of the uh, the type of food mm -hmm. you are producing mm -hmm. and the area you are living mm -hmm. you understand yeah so yeah I, I let me explain it in a different way that you can understand okay example mm -hmm. if you if like you have a joint or you have a restaurant mm -hmm whereby or in the area where or in the estate mm -hmm. where the foreigners are plenty there mm -hmm. you have to know the kind of food you can prepare there or you can you can you can cook so that everybody or the foreigner can enjoy it mm -hmm. if example if somebody doesn't like banku mm -hmm. you cannot cook banku mm -hmm. at a restaurant whereby you know that it, all of uh, the people that are in that area they are foreigners they yeah. are not from but if you cook like uh, 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 um, uh, lasagna, mm -hmm. pizza, and mm -hmm. those things, uh, mm -hmm. everybody know how to use it. Yeah. And everybody know how to eat it. Yeah. You, you get what I mean? Yeah. So you have to be creative and, and be uh, 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 very smart and know mm -hmm. where you can produce this one or mm -hmm. where you can do that one so that it will not affect your business. Right. You get it? Right. Yeah. If we are in a community dominated by let's say if you, Nigerians or Ghanaians of course if you bring Ghana jollof or Nigeria jollof is gonna say you know <laughs> yeah, yeah. but if you bring pasta pasta no you are they are not Italians yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you bring pasta they are not Italians yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. um, you work in the rest, um, at the, um, your restaurant is at the um, airport right yeah and then at the airport right now there's no flight coming in or going like it's, 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 there's a restriction yeah and I don't think you guys are working. Are you guys working? No. Do you want to tell us about like the, the impacts of this um, lockdown? Like, from like your experience, mm -hmm. you know, having worked in a restaurant and the restaurant is no more working. Yeah, lockdown. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Nobody is allowed to go out. You know that the restaurant depends on people that come in and mm -hmm. buy their food and right. eat and right. enjoy themselves and right. go back home. Right. But now people are not going out. Yeah. People are not moving. Right. Everything is locked. Yeah. So, it creates a very, very, very big damage to the mm -hmm. that section mm -hmm. or that sector. Mm -hmm. Now, most of my friends, mm -hmm. example, we that are, we are we are working that we are working in the uh, uh, restaurant at the airport. Mm -hmm. The airport is locked. Mm -hmm. Nobody is flying. Nobody is moving. Mm -hmm. It means that that place is collapsed. Right. We nobody. We plenty of our friends don't have work to do again they are staying in the house wow. so wow. imagine what they are the stress and what they are whatever they are going through yeah. you understand you know like guys it's really crazy there's a it's true there's a virus out there but there are a lot of industries actually losing money so what do you think we should do should we just allow things to go back to normal or we should just continue locking down and then wait for a vaccines to come Right now, right now, right now, right now, what they supposed, the government supposed to do, like, mm -hmm. is now, <coughs> in Africa, let me say it, it this way, in Africa, we are not used to be ordering things on uh, 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 on internet, mm -hmm. buying things on internet, mm -hmm. we go to the, uh, to the customer, mm -hmm. or we go to where the, the, uh, the, uh, the supermarket, mm -hmm. the places that they sell things, mm -hmm. we touch it, 
we fill it then before we, we buy it. We use cash to buy we it. We use cash to buy it. That's what my grandma cash. does. <laughs> <laughs> because if you don't touch it, yeah. you don't see the beauty mm -hmm. of the thing. You just go and buy it. Yeah. You or you order it on the internet. Yeah. It come and maybe because of the photo, uh, the Photoshop, mm -hmm. the color or what you want is not what they give you. You understand? Right. Uh -huh. yeah. But we are used to yeah. go there, feel the thing, and buy it. Mm -hmm. But now, mm -hmm. because of this coronavirus, mm -hmm. I think the system has changed, mm -hmm. and we have to accept it. Yeah. If you don't that's, accept that's it, that's a valid point. Yeah. If you don't accept it, yeah. Charlie, yeah. it will continue to go against you. against everybody. So, what's the change supposed to like? Like to the do everything? The, 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 the change supposed to be, which should be, the government supposed to educate mm -hmm. people about how to use mm -hmm. internet mm -hmm. to do mm -hmm. our own business, to mm -hmm. buy our own needs, uh, mm -hmm. to buy our whatever we need. Yeah. to order things how to order things how to receive things yeah. not to be always going to the people to go and check the thing yeah. feel the thing before yeah, buying it yeah. and this one also goes to the the sellers mm -hmm. when you are selling something mm -hmm. on the internet mm -hmm. please i'm begging mm -hmm. put the good quality over there right. don't put the good nice photo there mm -hmm. but the product that you are selling okay. is yeah. very bad yeah. Because if it's like that, mm -hmm. people will be very, very disappointed by buying things yeah. online. online yeah. you, my brother, do you get what yeah, I, I mean? I feel it. Yeah. yeah, because if you, 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 the, the post or the thing that you put over there, mm -hmm. let look like what you have offline. Don't put a different thing online. and having a different thing in, in, in your yeah. house. Yeah. And when you send it to the person, the person will get annoying, saying, ah. Why you put this one by what I'm having is different. Yeah. Oh, it will it will be discouraging with the blood. Oh, you know, the people, especially the Africans, to be trusting, buy and sell online thing. I got you. You get it. I, I think the backbone of this online trading is trust. You know, yeah. if there's no trust in it. I mean, it's not gonna work. Yeah, yeah. it's trust. It's, yeah, it's trust. trust. If I would like to say is that if you 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 want to re relocate yourself into Africa. There's a great opportunity for you to come to Africa because Africa, you have uh, every chances mm. to become rich mm. within a few years mm. because now before Africa, we start building Africa. Mm. So there is so many opportunities. Mm. Come and invest mm. and gain. Yeah. yeah. Don't come on extort us. You know, come <laughs> invest and come invest and back invest and invest back for a generation to generation to come. Exactly. You know, nothing so. like exporting the wealth back to America or US. Or, you no, invest, no, no. invest and you invest gain and, invest, yeah. and invest it again. For yeah. generations to come, you know. Exactly. You know? Not to take it back to America no, or no, wherever no, you no. are. I personally think like um like a lot of African Americans, like African the African diaspora, most especially the people in America or UK, oh. like they have more chances. In Africa, because I mean, they have hard currency. You guys are living next to the building; they are printing hard currency. You know, so a little bit of hard currency is too much here, and so you have higher chance of starting a business and you know making it happen than the, many of the local people here. Because it's hard, you raise that kind of hard. We don't even see hard currencies here. Yeah. So it's hard to have that kind of money you now. Um. So that's an advantage I think you guys have, and then. The advantage it will be for us African is going to provide value at affordable prices. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then the profit you make, invest it back on the land, invest it back on the land, invest yeah. it back on the land. <laughs> Nothing like going back to where I came from. Now, nah, I mean, <laughs> this is supposed to be a final home, bro. Yeah. yeah. I want to tell them, all the diaspora mm -hmm. people that want, really want to join us in Africa mm -hmm. to come and experience, mm -hmm. feel, mm -hmm. be great, mm -hmm. be powerful, be strong. It should be very, 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 very fast and come back to Africa to mm -hmm. uh, to join us to develop the Africa because it's very important. Yeah. You know, it's mm -hmm. very important because you have been away for a long time. Yeah. You have been away for a long time, so you need to come back to the land of your ground ancestors, ancestors yeah. to, to, to know what is really going on. Yeah. 
here in Africa. Because, because I personally believe they don't have any better place to call home than Africa. You no. know, this is the only place you will come and no. not get discriminated again. No. Yeah. Because wherever you are, you feel great or whatever. Yeah. When they see you, they there is a, a question mark. Yeah. Everybody look at you, yeah. even though you are born over there. Yeah. They say you are an African. Yeah. Before you say no, I was born here, or my parents are born here. I have yeah. the paper. I have this one. I have this one. But your color mm -hmm. tells everybody, everybody that yeah. you are an African. Yeah, an African. You know, yeah. so better join us here in Africa so that we can build the Africa our yeah. motherland. Because I believe even like looking at the, what the Kenis is doing to Africa. I mean, clearly, this is telling us that Africa, we don't have any true friends beyond the African-American community or the African diaspora in general. Now, these are the only people, you know, who can get the country out of the continent, generally out of the mess we in right now. I believe it's social media now. The lies are getting exposed now. That big ozone that was, you know, dividing us is now getting kicked out because of social media. So you guys are able to see what is happening in Africa in real time by just clicking a button, like just click watching a YouTube video. And I think every African American is making a point to at least visit. You know what I mean? But I don't work it's for you. It's not a crime. It's not a crime. Yeah. The man work for you can work for you. You know. Yeah. At the end of the day, it's anywhere you are, just be peaceful. You know, just just be at your best self. So, bro, how how long have you been in Ghana, though? Uh, uh, it's not I've been in Ghana like I was born in Ghana, but <laughs> later on, uh -huh. go back to. I I was sent to Togo, okay. and I school in Togo for some time, okay. and I came back to restart school here wow. and uh, let's say from um, I came I came back mm -hmm. it's, it's not a year of a year of return no? <laughs> 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 it's not a year of return so around the put it aside okay. so it's like I came back 2099 uh, oh no 98 that, yeah. oh, wow 98. and so since then you've been living here like yeah. wow that's a long time bro yeah. are you a Ghanaian man yeah. It's not I'm a Ghanaian. I'm yeah. a Ghanaian. I'm a Ghanaian because uh, I was born here. My father is a Ghanaian. Oh, my okay. mother is a Togolese. So ah, yeah, I see, I see. It's my mother is a Togolese. So you know, when my mother moved, I have to follow her. Yeah, That's why yeah. we all went to Togo, yeah. and later on we came, we came back, back again yeah. because everybody is looking for a, 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 a good area or yeah, a good place to stay, yeah. a best opportunity to yeah. to take. Yeah. So that's our my journey going to togo and coming back to ghana yeah. and that's the same oh, nice. yeah. but can you speak french though yeah if you do you put the part of france eh? je parle bien français et vous yeah je te parle bien français c'est bon c'est bon yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, i saw your video the last time like you have a youtube channel right yeah 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 so like can you like tell us more about what you do on the youtube channel you know so my <coughs> subscribers can run you know support you you know yeah okay i have a youtube channel called mm -hmm. erico mm -hmm. shone mm -hmm. that youtube channel i used to mm -hmm. show mm -hmm. my talent mm -hmm. because uh i cook mm -hmm. i show how i cook my food the yeah. new food i create yeah, and uh, right. and so if you want you do you are uh, Mm, as you like it you don't know how excuse me you don't know how to cook and you want to learn how to cook mm -hmm. just connect to my youtube, YouTube channel, channel and yeah. be watching yeah. my food yeah. uh, stuffs yeah. how i do cook my thing to learn how to cook to yeah. build up your family yeah.